let's set up our network for staff and guests. So let's go over to configure and click on general. Here you'll see all the settings we've previously set up, such as network name and address. You can always change these later, but let's leave them for now. On the left, you'll see four SSIDs. These will be our different networks. So let's go into SSID number one, and let's come up with the name. This will be our staff network, so we'll name it Lauren's Flowers Staff. We'll make it enabled, visible, and we'll turn on authentication to set a password. Let's go down to bandwidth throttling and make sure that's off. Turn off the splash page. Make sure scheduling Wi-Fi is off. But turn on band steering and block LAN access. Click save changes. And that's our staff network setup. Let's go to SSID number two and set up a guest network. You could also name this free Wi-Fi as that's what people will see when they log in. Let's make it enable, visible, and the authentication can be either turned on or off, depending on if you want it to have a password or not. Go down to bandwidth throttling and turn that on. This will limit people's download speeds to stop them downloading big files. Let's go down to availability and turn on schedule Wi-Fi. This is a great tool for turning your Wi-Fi on and off automatically. In this example, we'll turn it on just from the business hours of seven till six, but you can set this however you like. Turn on band steering, block LAN access, and make sure you turn on client isolation, which is important for free networks. Click save changes, and that's your guest network set up. If you want to continue to set up networks, use SSID 3 and 4. Thanks for watching. <laughs>